up everybody today i have my mother here my mother grandmaster pia Kramling, <laughs> and we are gonna be filming a video together we are going to try to beat the hikaru bot and it's gonna be tough but i mean my mother is a grandmaster so hopefully we'll have a slight chance are you ready for this yes i'm ready and i'm very excited <laughs> <laughs> So, have you ever played against any of these bots, by the way? Uh, I think actually I played against uh, Caro. I think so. But I just tried it, you know, I tried one, two, three, something, some very few, some time ago. So I, I don't even remember the result. <laughs> okay, good. I was going to say, don't spoil the result yet. <laughs> All right. Well, now you will remember the result. Whatever we do now, you'll remember it. All right, um, I'm gonna go for D4 because this is what I play. Yeah, and I, I, I also play it very often. Not always, but often, yeah. <laughs> King's Indian, Modern Benoni, Chak Benoni, Nimso, Queen's Indian, Bogo Indian. I got moves in all of these openings. Yeah, yeah, it is true. After C4, we will not know what, he, what he's going to play. So it will be exciting. Mom, see. do you play all of these openings too? Uh, no, I used to play Benoni. I don't do it. I don't play Czech Benoni, but I play the other ones. Yeah, I think I play the other ones. Okay, so we could almost say the same sentence back to him. Yeah, yeah, almost, yeah. No, I don't play so much King's Indian now, no, but I, I played it before. So if you, you know, think of me during all my years, then I played all the openings and even Czech Benoni, I think, sometime when I was very young. There we go, mom. <laughs> right back then. <laughs> all right, E6. I think he's going to go for an Imso Indian now. It seems... Okay, no. Yeah, now, so what do you like to do? I, 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 you, we can go bishop g5, but I also like to take on d5 and after bishop g5. So what do you prefer? Yeah, I typically go for the exchange variation. Mm -hmm. you say yeah, here. yeah, we do that. This is all theory. We know Hikaru, we know. Ah, he took that way. Yeah, this is a little bit... Uh, uh, yeah, it, it has become popular now to take with a knight. Yeah. Before, before you never saw that. So, okay, normally it's now that we, we, take, the, we take the center. Yes, e4, this is a normal move. And yes, to, to, to take the center, yeah. Yeah, it's a move that makes most sense, definitely. But yeah, I've seen this a lot of times. Sometimes, mom, I'll pre-move bishop g5 in the position because I'm so sure they're going to take with the pawn. And I have lost several games pre-moving bishop g5. It's a complete disaster. I don't recommend anybody to do that. So never do it if you play this line. Never pre-move it. Because yeah. They like, may think that you're cool, but you're not. Mm. So lose a piece. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So, so really, yeah, bishop g5 is probably the worst move you can make in the position. <laughs> it's difficult. It's, there's not so many. It's, I think you can't make a move which is worse than that. <laughs> okay, we're just going to take back. Oh, yeah, bishop e7, that was, uh, that was curious. Normal is to go c5, and then I would have liked to go rook b1, just to avoid take, taking bishop b5. So, but he went bishop e2, bishop e7. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a little bit uh, yeah, uh, unusual. Yeah, I, I thought this was the best way of continuing for black. Uh, and just to get some immediate, you know, counter, yeah. uh, counter attack. Yeah, the idea is to go c5. And if you would have gone knight f3, you take, take, and you go bishop b4. So it's a little bit like, and you exchange in the bishop, and you get there with one tempo. But after c5, I like rook b1, yes, to avoid yeah. bishop b4. So it would have been more difficult for him to get it in. But now, I think he has normal development. Knight of three, right? Yeah, Just getting knight. our pieces out. Yeah, and the knight is good there in the center. Okay, all right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, castles, it makes sense. Um, yeah, so now the question is where you want the bishop to be. Which bishop? Yeah, normally it's to go out with a white light square bishop. Yeah, pair. to castle and quickly, castle. right? Yeah, yeah, this is the normal. So, yeah, I, I, I guess uh, I, I like it on d3. This is what I think. Is Mom, good. we gotta be aggressive. On d3 it goes. I like it too, because then at some point we might be able to open up here. Yeah. No, we can do two. We can normally is to go castling. Yeah, I think we should just play normal. Yeah, castle. instead of getting the bishop out, right? Maybe we can wait a little bit. Yeah. No, I was even thinking of going e5 already. But yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and castle. Mm. Get the king out of all the issues and then... And now he goes uh, b6. Yeah. And in this position, I think, I don't know if he's some plans to go bishop a6, but we want to keep this bishop. So maybe, maybe yes, queen e2 would be good here. Just to stop this? Yeah, yes, to stop this. Hmm. Oh. You see, mom, that's really cool. That's the type of move that I feel like I never do. Like, I always, mm -hmm. like, forget about these little prophylactic moves, which are stopping, like your opponent from developing in the way that they want to so mm -hmm. but it's also I, I i don't know if bishop a6 would be a good move but in general you want to change 
the light square, square bishop. And in general, in this kind of position, you, you like to uh, you like to change people, go to the end games. Mm. So for black, for black, because you have a pawn more far away. So in general, for the end games, this is better. But we have more pawn in the center. We can have more peace activity. We can play against the king. Yeah. With so 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 that's why. And also queen e two. Sometimes we can have some idea to go e five, queen e four, and we are looking a little bit at h seven. Yeah. So, so queen e two looks like very reasonable move. And then if you want, we can always defend d four with, for example, a rook b one. Yeah. Direct, indirect. We are defending. Yeah. It, yeah. Mm? And now, yeah, we course. gotta take with the pawn. You mm -hmm. know, we don't want to leave our pawn so mm -hmm. weak. And now here, where do we want to? I thought Bishop B two made sense, but maybe yeah, no, Bishop B two it makes uh, yeah, it makes it makes sense. Uh, absolutely, it makes sense. Bishop B two. I mean, mom, you you can tell me if it if it's not a good move. Like the reason why I want to go Bishop B two instead of Bishop E three is because it feels like the Bishop on B two is gonna be a lot more active, mm -hmm. and also on E three feels like sometimes there maybe could be a five F four. I don't even know. Like not now, but maybe at some point there could be those type of things. On. Yeah, yeah, no, maybe so. B two looks logical. Also because he took on, he could have gone knight c six directly. Yeah. So, but when he took, yeah, I think he should be two. Okay. Looks, looks very Yay. fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, and now I guess um, logical is to put a rook on d one. And now the big question is, which rook? How do we want the rooks to be? Yeah. Well, yeah, because if we go with the rook a d one, then I guess it's because we want to have this formation. And if we go with this rook, I guess it's because we want to have this formation with the rooks. Yeah, or we will just stay with rook a little bit on a1 for okay. some time. Yeah, the only thing is the rook on e1, he can always kick us with some bishop before the way we yeah. have it now. Thanks. So so we have to look out for the tactics here. Yeah, so, that's actually a very good point. Yeah, so may maybe we should just go rook fd1 anyway, because we will need, after a move like knight d4, we'll need to go bishop c4. Okay. This is like this. But he will play rook c8 and can we then go d5 maybe? Yeah. Well, yeah. think about it when that happens. When that happens, yeah. Okay, I'm going rook d1 now. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, <laughs> they went for it. So let's go ahead and think about this now. There's mm -hmm. a lot of tactics here. Knight d4, king d4. This looks very, I don't know, d1 looks like, like We're very... opening up all of our pieces as well then. Yeah, I think yes, d1 looks like a, a nice move here. Mm -hmm. And also if d5, pawn takes, pawn takes, queen takes, it's not possible because if bishop takes h7 check. Yeah. And that is a discovered check, so yeah. we so... just get the queen. Mm, exactly. So d5 looks like a very interesting move. Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like Carl looks so happy here all the time. Yeah, he looks so happy. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, let's go d5. Are we playing without any time? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I didn't know that it was... A... Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll take back. Yeah. And night before, this is what we were thinking about. Yeah, and then of course, yeah, now it's true, we should have had the other rook because we could have rook f1. But now I'm wondering here, you know, if we go some queen e4. Queen e4, then you take this one. Yeah, 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 of course you take it. Ah, sorry. So, no, no, no. We will need to go some... Um, I was thinking of bishop f5. Yeah, bishop f5. Threatening the rook and then maybe we can go queen e4 or something. Yeah, so so bishop f... Yeah. There is also this move. Wait a moment. Yeah. Um, and d6 he will just take. So there's no tricks, yeah? There's no tricks after d6 take. No, I think bishop f5 should be fine looks very normal uh because yeah. then maybe it's even better to go for d6 after a bishop is here and the rook is protecting the pawn yeah 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 i know i think so also and now there is actually some point with having played the rook f to d1 we don't have to be worried about bishop a6 absolutely not so so yeah, yeah. should we do it yeah we, i think we go bishop f5 also it's good to be in this diagonal just that the rook cannot go to d6 mm. yeah, yeah all right i'm going here um Okay, so he's putting all the pressure in the world onto this pawn here. I mean, I was thinking what happens if bishop h7, queen e4, check, but I guess it doesn't work. You know, I think it will be about equals. No, I think maybe this is actually what we should do. Take, take queen e4, king g8, take on b4, and then at that moment, I don't know, he doesn't have, he can do some discover, he can go somewhere maybe, with a rook. Maybe rook takes? 
the rook takes and at that moment it would have been better to have the other rook on d1 actually but but it doesn't matter <laughs> but maybe yes maybe this you... is such a chess player thing i feel like we chess players we always no. like are so like upset about where we put our rooks like we're <laughs> never happy with where we put our rooks because we have too many options for the rooks <laughs> yeah no we have to go down like maybe yeah we have to go down like queen e1 there but mom i have another question what mm -hmm. happens if we go immediately queen e4 this looks actually very fine i want to see because my plan was that if rook takes i wanted to go for check it's king h8 and if you could have played but there i'm a little bit more there so yeah this is a possible this is probably what we should do maybe I mean, because mm. the thing, the, mm. this is the thing, Mom. Mm. I was thinking, what happens if Queen E4, mm. and then uh, you take here, mm. and then what happens if Rook takes? If you take with like the Bishop, for instance, mm -hmm. then my plan, or with the Knight, then my plan was to go for Bishop takes H7, and then after King takes, uh, no, sorry, uh, no, sorry, King takes is not possible. After King H8, to go Queen e5 threaten checkmate or whatever and then after bishop f6 to go queen h5 yeah i think this is this is a good idea yeah so i think we do that we go but mom 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 you know i don't know if this is a good idea you no. gotta tell me if it is no it looks very, very good also there were some ideas maybe we could have gone yeah it looks strong queen but e i don't know if there's uh if there's going to be like after queen e4 rook takes because i don't think we can go for this immediately because our rook is hanging right so I think that okay. You know what? Let me just go queen e4 and we'll see. What yeah, do. let's see what he will play after queen e4. Yeah, yeah he's going for this. Rook. And I think you're right that we should now take on d5. Yeah, first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, let's do it. Let's see how he. Okay, he takes the knight. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, Ikaru. We're one hundred percent sure. <laughs> and now we now we have to. Uh, we have to, I think oh, queen e4 looks very yeah because if because the thing with queen here is that there's just knight f6 so it doesn't really yeah or you can even go yeah yes go knight f6 and um I guess right uh, and because we will we want to get to the h line and the idea yeah. with queen f5 is queen g4 uh, yeah sorry queen e4 of course is that after knight f6 we can take on it yeah and then mm. And then we go queen h5. Mom, you don't think that he's gonna take with the pawn and then after queen h5 I go king g7? Uh, nah, that looks yeah. too dangerous. But w when he does like that, uh, we will maybe. Yeah, he, he, he can do that. But it's very. You know, his king will be very, very. Weak. And we'll can... have our knights coming in as well. Mm -hmm. But he will take on. Yeah, it could be queen g4, knight f6 we take. He could take with the pawn. But his king will get so weak. Yeah. So, uh, and what will we do then? In that moment, maybe we will play some. We'll see when we get there, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. If so, we get there. Because so, it just looks like we have a really great position then. Yeah. So I, I think so. Queen g4 looks fine. Okay. So we are threatening something here, yes. Ah. Uh, now I know his idea. Yes. Queen well, here, knight, knight here. F, yes. Queen here, knight f4. So let's see here. And we are a little bit. Ah, but his rook is now hanging. So I'm just wondering. This rook. Uh, uh, no, no, I had one idea with some rook d1, but we cannot play that. So I'm just wondering. So if we play like bishop e4, because then we are threatening mate. What is Wait, it? sorry, bishop what? E bishop oh, e bishop e4, e4 this bishop. bishop. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I want to put yeah. pressure on d5. Yeah. So what is it going to do? It's going to go some... G6, mom. G6, I guess. Then yeah. we have this whole diagonal open, though. Then we have the whole. Can diagonal. we go knight G5 then? Then we, maybe we go knight G5. It could be yes. It could be knight G5. Could be a good move. It could also be knight E5, perhaps. All right. Well, should we do it? Mm, yeah, I think we should. Do okay. It. Bishop E4. Let's go and go bishop E4. Mm, ah, he went king G8. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's not playing the stuff we want him to play. <laughs> but I am. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised. I mean, don't we have now a repetition if we want to? Queen h5? As a queen h5, and he can go g6. And then we take it? Take, take, take. Yeah, we, we now we have a draw if we want to. But we don't want to draw, of course, but I'm just saying that we have it. I was thinking, well, what happens if queen h5, mm. g6, takes, takes, check, king here, and then knight here? And then knight g5. Yeah, he will have to defend with the queen, and I guess he will defend queen 
7 and uh, and uh, queen 7 and uh, maybe even if it's okay there so let, okay. let so, so yes let's see but let's see or should we go ahead and do as many moves as we can first so are we gonna go queen h5 do yeah, you think yeah let's go queen h5 then. so or is there anything else you would want to do instead if i want to do something else in queen h5 no i think this is uh, i think this is because then i think it's easier for everybody to see oh. what we're talking about yeah let, let, let's go for let's go for queen h5 yeah okay mm -hmm. so it has to go for g6 and now we have to take uh, now now we have to take so we have to take, yeah. Mm, mm. Okay, so let's take then. Mm. So make it. Yeah. And now we have these. Are you sure you want to do that? I love that he has these sentences <laughs> coming up all the uh, time. All the time, yes, yeah, so coming up. And now the question is, um, do we have, I was wondering if we have some slow-mo like rookie one, but I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. So, and if we go knight g5, which I feel like is like a very... Yeah, knight g5, queen e7. Queen e7. Seven. But then, you know, we have a check. He goes king g8. But what we do after that? We don't have anything more. Problem is, we, we need one. We need a knight. He ships on b2. But what is... Because he defend f7 with both the... And rogue. mom, what happens if knight g5, queen e7, bishop h6? Bishop a... a, a sorry, bishop a3. Bishop a3. Because we, we cannot take it because of... No, but he got queen g7 because we have this problem with the rook where he goes just queen g7 and the rook on a1 is also hanging. So Why are all our pieces so bad right now? <laughs> so is, is it possible that we have to go for a draw here, Anna? <laughs> it could be that we have to go for a draw here. Do you think so? Yeah. I feel could. like this is a position that looks like we have a lot of things, but maybe we don't. Um, we have a problem that we are... Um, it's a mate on the last rank. Yeah. I was wondering, could we ha do we have time for rookie one? Because the plan is rookie one, rookie four. But after rookie one, uh, I don't know what's happening. The idea is if you go bishop, take b2, we have rookie four. But then you have knight f4. Yeah, because we cannot take it because of the check move. Yeah, and we have no pieces left. So, hmm? do you want me to go for the draw? Yeah, I, I, think, I think we should go for the draw now and we're drawing down. Hikaru, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're draw it's not it's not bad, mom. He is twenty seven fifty, and this bot is twenty seven fifty. So we should be proud of ourselves. But mm. um, but you wanted to beat Hikaru, bot. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do that too. Okay, all right, let's go for the draw. So this is once again not possible. Mom, anything else? I don't see anything else. Do you see anything else? No. The problem is we, we're missing the rook. Yeah, the, the, we want the rook to be part mm, of the party. Yeah, we, we want it to be here also. Yeah, you're all. tough to beat. <laughs> all right, we'll take that. <laughs> we'll yeah. take that. Thank you, Ikaru. <laughs> 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 all right, mom, we drew him in 24 in uh, 28 moves. Are you overall happy with the game? Do you want to see a game report? Do you want us to have Chazacom tell us what our accuracy was? Let's see. Let's see. What okay. do you think our accuracy was, mom, out of 100? I don't know. Could it be 65? I don't know. No, mom, 65? No, 65 is really low. It's really low. Yeah, no, I, I don't really know. Okay, then maybe. Could it be I'm going to give it a guess. I'm going to say 94. 94, so high. Mm, okay. Mom, when you played in the World Cup, all your games were over, you know, 93. I am all my games. Yeah, pretty even, much. E even, even the last match. Yeah, I think. No, I, I can't remember, but it yeah. was around there. Yeah, but probably not the last match because there there were so many okay. mistakes, I think. This but is the bar going up. One moment later. There we go, guys. 98.4, mom. That was our accuracy. We had higher accuracy than Hikaru bot. I am so... Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised. I thought overnight it would be so much and night eight. Wow. <laughs> I five on that, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so actually, it says that what it says that we had plus ten here. Plus ten. Okay, so then we had plus ten here. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second, mom. Plus ten. Um. In this moment, yeah. Yeah. We have plus ten here. So how could it be that we have plus ten here? Mom, Somewhere. I see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Oh, the queen h3, I think. Okay, so we Yay, did... it's the 
character and look a, a 95 95 because of this we have mate, queen yeah queen eight. h3 oh so that was a weenie oh you're so quick no i didn't see that yes oh. yay oh <laughs> so and anyway even if we beat Right. Yeah, that's sad that we missed it. Mm, so queen Cause h4. Because we, we just had in our minds queen h5 the whole time, but the difference is that the g-pawn kicks away the queen. Yeah, absolutely. So knight d5. Yeah, we need just to get one more piece in, and then it's it. And the rook could still be out of the game. Yeah. Could just enjoy the mating attack we have here. <laughs> <laughs> could just look from there. Mm. All right, well, we we almost beat Hikarabot, Mom. Mm. We should be proud of ourselves for that. Yeah, yeah. It was high five. Yeah, okay, it was close. <laughs> it was close. All right, people. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you had fun seeing me and my mother uh, facing Hikaru Bot. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the video as well. I would really appreciate that as we're so close on hitting 50,000 subscribers. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, mom, for being here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>